Kind of one eighty. Kind of down. Okay. We'll do five turns. So with this guy, this guy here. So one. And then we do one turn up with these two together, this guy and this guy. Done. Okay. You take it and do this mount here. Then tap it. Tap it right there. Comes off. Okay. What we do, the wipes, put it right here. Then for the cleaning at the end, I use a, I use a tweezer like this guy. Come and I come through here in the back. I'm gonna go on the side. Done. Okay. And you got it. Yeah. And then there is a tray here that can hold the stuff. Oh, and you t I take a visual inspection even up here. See, sometimes after cleaning, it's good to uh, you know take a look up here too. Obviously, be careful here. The blade is off. The blade is exposed. And this is this was in the garbage. Then you can use a dry. Use a dry. Take this one from me. There's some, some right there actually. This part here. Cut yourself. See? But obviously, if you have to cut the meat, you have to move it out of the way. Right. So, undo this part here, take it out, and move it over one step. Right okay. there. See? And now it is a, but you know, at least you're safe. It's a steel ball, a spring load that you just press it down like that, mm -hmm. and one, just one drop. See, right there, okay. done. Done. One right there. Okay. Put right there. There. Done. Right there. See this screw here? Yes. When the table covers it, you're at the end of the end of this of the stroke. Okay. Obviously the meat if the meat is here, it's right. not gonna cut anymore. So right. what you have to do, move it back about half an inch, reposition. This is your blade edge. Okay. So you just make you don't wanna cock like that. You right. want to go like this in the middle this way. And you try to be nice and square. Right. In fact, in fact I squared it off here. Okay. See right there? Then this is articulated. If you have a cut that is not uneven, I'll follow it, okay? So you go down the... I don't clamp it very hard right now because of, I'm gonna... And if you come on the side, what I do is it's touching the meat there, but it's not touching there. Look at that, okay? So what I do, I just line it up like that, okay? See that? Yep. Hold on. And then clamp it hard, there. And now I'm more even, okay? So bring it closer with this knob here. See, you can turn. So I'll, I'll go close here. Just before it touches it. And now I'm gonna start to turn it. Yeah. See, I can have a little catch pen. You want to control the speed, that's where it makes a difference in this machine, see? My blade is nice and sharp and I can you know, just go slow enough, then I can chase the, the cut, okay? Perfect, it's beautiful. There it is, see? You see it down. Okay, yep. and this is all free. Loose. So what happens when it goes into the cut is probably gonna, okay. gonna cut. So 
So the best way to do it is lift this one up. Yeah. And you go you go down here. See? Right. So I clamp ah. it back and front. So you can go whatever you want. Got okay. it. Okay. So you pull it. Yeah, you can do it. You can go in. And you did that just with this handle, right? Yeah. Well, you, it's articulated. This guy goes up and down. Okay. There you go. See, you would read it like that. Okay. See? So you grab in the back and the front. Yes. Okay. Okay, now I have to go up more in the, in the back. Okay, if you want to angle, uh, you got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. you got a good idea. You, the idea is correct. Look, your reference point is this edge. Okay, so I'm way off. Yeah, but, but just for the line up. Think that's going to work? No. Move it, move it back. I think so. I think so. And then move it back a little bit. Yeah. All right. And then see, see where you at. Starting to get um okay, all right. So I got it. 